Here is a test question for you. You need to find range of the function f of x equals to sine x by 2 minus square root cos x by 2 minus 3. Four options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, this is not a very simple question. You need to write this particular equation as one trigonometric ratio to get the right answer. Now what we are going to use here is the knowledge of uh, combining these two terms into one trigonometric ratio. Right. So we could actually write this as uh, r cos the angle here is x by 2 uh, minus alpha. Right. We could actually write this portion as this. Now, if you do that, then we know the range will be uh, minus 3 plus and minus r. So, that is how you could actually get the range. Okay. Now, let's see how to write it in that form. So, that is the first exercise. Uh, let me rewrite this function as, uh, let's say, f of x equals to. Uh, so, what I will do here is I will take uh, minus common. Let me take minus outside. So I have square root of 3 cos of x by 2 minus sine of x by 2, right? Minus 3. Now, this function, let's compare it with something like that, which is r cos x by 2 minus alpha. So, so if I write a function which is, let's say, r cos x by 2 minus alpha, then we could say this is r times, we'll use the compound angle formula, which is cos x by 2, let me write r outside, cos alpha and when it is minus it becomes plus sine x by 2 sine alpha right so we are only doing this part correct now if you compare these two equations if you compare these two equations you can say that r cos alpha well uh, will be equal to minus square root 3, right? R cross alpha will be equal to minus square root 3. And R times sine alpha, let me open this bracket to make this point clear. It will be R times, we are writing like this, cos alpha times cos of x by 2 plus R times sine alpha sine x by 2 is it okay now you can see that r cos alpha is negative square root 3 and r sine alpha is negative times this is positive 1 is it okay so we could write r sine alpha as positive 1 to get the value of r we can square them and add right so let us square and add so we get r squared cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha is what? Square of this minus square root 3 square plus 1 square which is 3 plus 1 which is 4. On this side you know it is cos square alpha plus sine square alpha right? So let me just push this page a bit here. Right so so that we could complete the solution here. We could write this as r square cos square alpha plus sine square alpha which is basically r square so we know r square is 4 and that implies that r equals to square root of 4 which is 2 so so the given expression could now be written as what we could write this as the whole expression here could be written as r becomes 2 for us we are taking a positive value 2 so so we could write this as 2 cos 
2 cos x by 2 minus alpha. We are not finding alpha at present, right? We are just finding the value of r since we are interested in range. Is it okay? Minus 3. Now that really means that now the domain and range will be from minus 3 minus 2 to minus 3 plus 2, correct? which is from minus 5 to minus 1. So option B is the right option. I hope you get the idea, right? So, so basically, we have written the first part of the equation as a wave equation, which is also called harmonic wave equation. Now that is very important equation to review for your test. So understand how do we find sum or a difference of sine and cosine in this form, right? You learn that uh, alpha could be fine. You could find tan alpha as a ratio of these two, right? If you do tan alpha, that means we could do this. Tan alpha equals to 1 over square root 3 with a negative. So you get alpha here. So you could also find the complete expression, but since we were only interested in range, we did not calculate this. I hope you get an idea, correct? So this multiple choice question could be answered very easily by finding r as equal to square root of coefficients, right? So this coefficient is 1 here, this is square root 3. So 1 square plus square root 3 square, which gives us 2. And then 2, so from minus 3, if you do plus minus 2, you get your range, which is minus 5 minus 1. So in case you know all this, it doesn't take much time. So it is good to know, since multiple choice questions at times could take a lot of time, which you may not have in a competitive exam, especially like IITJ. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.